think more of the question is how different would we all be? How different would this whole thing be? How different would the industry be? How different would the wheel roll? Everything would be different. When the feds raided Puffy's houses, they found tapes with evidence of Chris Jenner being part of some criminal activities. The moment that you found out that Ray J is on tape had it looks like Diddy might be in some hot water and he's not alone. There are rumors that he's been involved in some risky activities, with the Kardashians possibly mixed up in it. People are even saying that Kim Kardashian has been to Diddy's notorious parties. Now, Ray J is talking so much about it that he might end up in trouble too. I feel that he might actually cut off his friendship with Diddy. It's not okay. I mean, it might be forgivable in the sense of a spiritual realm of life or forgive everybody, but it's unforgettable and that's where you just draw the line on friendship and hanging out and, and supporting and being cool it's like niggas it's done you know and that's it yeah that video was out of pocket man it should never get to that point where you stumping a female man it's not okay man and it's not and it's not something that niggas can just take lightly you know cannot do that not okay. Niggas is not cool. Period. You knowing Diddy personally, was you surprised when you seen that video? Heartbreaking. And shameful. Now, for those who might not recall, Ray J used to date Kim Kardashian, and somehow all this is connected to Diddy, but we shall get to that in a while. You said she literally hypnotized you with sex. Absolutely, she. I was hypnotized, um, you know, waking up in the morning with toothpaste already on your toothbrush, you know, uh, a warm towel already ready to go to wash your face, um, you know, just certain different perks of, of being with a woman like that mm -hmm. could really, you know, trap you into an emotional world that it's hard to get out of. What happened? Why, why did that relationship end? Well, the relationship with KK, it ended because we just felt like, you know, we were friends, we were honest with each other, mm -hmm. but as far as our commitment as a one-on-one -on -one relationship, that just wasn't working. And I think we were honest with ourselves and we were honest with each other and, and we moved on and everything's still cool. Who released the sex tape? You know what, it's, it's not about that. What it's about, it, it, it's about growth, you mm -hmm. know, it's about, it's about moving on from your past situations that, you, that you've been through. In your book, you said, Kim, excuse me, KK hypnotized you with sex. What do you mean? It, it means a lot of things because it, it, definitely, it, it, it definitely has its, as far as sex, it was intense. As far as the relationship with KK, it was, it was it was a roller coaster ride of fun and, and and emotions and and infidelity and other things that came along with that and lies and we going through receipts tonight, Kim. Listen, y'all told your mom told us to go do what we did in Santa Barbara. We like the tape. We need you to go do it one more time in Santa Barbara. We'll go through them and we'll pick we pick the older one. Showed Kim in a better light. Where is that contract? Pull it up. And as soon as you pull it up, it's me and Kim. We signed the contract the same exact day for the same amount of money, $400,000. That's it. There go the tape contract. There, there it is. This is the original copy. And look who signed my deliverables and was in the room. I feel like God is like putting everything in perspective because it gave me one more year statute of limitation to like sue for all of the bad shit they did to me. And now I can sue it for exactly like what you doing, lying. So Ray J's ex, Kim Kardashian, has been trying to distance herself from Diddy ever since the lawsuits emerged. In fact, Kim unfollowed the hip hop mogul barely a day before his house was raided. So y'all know how it just was released that Kris Jenner and Corey Gamble had something to do with Diddy recently. If you go look, Corey Gamble um, had some dealings with Diddy. I'm not gonna go into his story. This ain't about Corey. Sorry, Corey, you, you for another day. Well, apparently um, there is allegedly a secret video footage that has released 
um, of Chris Jenner and Diddy's house. I don't know too much about that. That's all I know, some secret video. Okay, let's get past that. Um, judgment is here, y'all. Um, two, 24 hours before the raid, Kim Kardashian decides to unfollow Diddy, right? Well, come to find out, this person by the name of Lou Taylor is apparently Diddy's manager. Um, and this Lou Taylor woman is also on the board of Hillsong's church home. Follow me, go with me. They ain't doing all of this child in the name of the Lord. Why, just, just follow the story. Now to cover myself, everything in this video is a legend, honey. This is what I digged up and I don't know if, how much truth is to it, but there's reportings, okay? So everything that I'm saying is allegedly, keep that in mind. So um, Lou Taylor apparently is paying off allegedly some of Diddy's victims from this slush fund through some church fund, okay? Not only that, um, Kim Kardashian mama has been making these girls pay 10% ties to some church that Lou Taylor and her husband is basically owner, co-owner, or whatever. So I was like, let me look into this Lou Taylor person. I'm thinking Lou Taylor was a guy who was a woman with a husband, a whole husband. And they doing ministry and everything. Now, mind you, y'all remember the whole thing with Britney Spears? So come to find out, Lou Taylor... This gets deep, y'all. Hold on. Okay, so Lou Taylor is the CEO of TriStar Sports and Entertainment. Um, she's like a business manager icon. Now, Mike, do y'all know the Lohans? What's the Lindsay Lohan? So she apparently, allegedly, um, she has been behind most of these stars' conservative ship situations, especially Britney Spears. So before um, before we talk about Britney, um, Mike Lohan, which is um, the Lohan girl, Lindsay Lohan's daddy, accused Lou Taylor um, and the mama, Dina Lohan, for trying to put Lindsay Lohan in a conservative ship concerning her money. Also, allegedly, there's a lawsuit from 2021 with Astro World tragedy, and she's being sued for um, for employment discrimination. Um, this is what this Lou, part, Lou lady is. Now, Lou Associates maintain intense control also over Britney Spears' life um, and money. Um, and she was behind even the conservative ship of why Britney Spears had that conservative ship because she ended up becoming the business manager and took over the financial pieces of Britney Spears' whole situation ship. So in 2010, the Britney Spears Foundation launched in <clears throat> 2020, uh, 20, 20, 2001, I'm sorry. Um, and it was closed out with part of the remaining funds being donated to a Christian um, residential program that Lou and her husband, Rob, worked with. So between the long hands, Britney Spears, um, that she was this masterful manager who has been managing all of these high-end stars. Um, but not only that, um, trying to do run this conservative ship with these artists, which to me is demonic work, um, demonic work from the enemy. But let me say this, because see, y'all celebrities, y'all ain't no prayer book either. <laughs> we ain't finna blame it all on Lou. You, you decided to do what you did to you sign a contract. So the Kardashians is linked to this lady because, mind you, there was no public connections until 2019 with the Kardashian family. Um, then all of a sudden, um, they was named in fi filings um, in the KKW Beauty fragrance for Kim Kardashian. Um, also Kylie uh, Cosmetics and Kendall Gen Jenner Inc. Um, this was all um, linked to TriStar, okay? And it also continues to today. Now in February, 2024, uh, this TriStar lady, um, I can't think of her name. Y'all know I just said her name. Um, she helped Kim secure a 70.4 million mansion. 
Not only that, she also um, helped secure a $48.7 million loan through a trust associated with TriStar, the company that this lady had. Child, this is getting deep. I'm sorry, Kim Boo Boo. So baby, were y'all looking at pictures of who at the party? And that is why the mama make them um, tithe, not y'all tithing, not y'all even tithing the 10% back to the church that her and the husband own, talking about them, pay your tithe now. Are y'all crazy? The connection between Diddy and the Kardashians becomes clearer when you delve into Lou Taylor's client list. It turns out that Sean Diddy Combs is also listed among her clients. Interestingly, Taylor's career started at Uptown Records, where she worked with a management firm called Davos, giving her the opportunity to collaborate with the record label and, subsequently, enter Diddy's circle. And they're still collaborating today? The web of connections between Diddy, the Kardashians, and Lou Taylor runs deep, encompassing both business and personal ties and touching upon various industries and ideologies. For those who still doubt the allegations, let's take a look at the latest lawsuit filed against the hip-hop mogul by music producer Rodney Lil Rodney Jones. According to Lil Rod, Diddy's running a crazy world filled with cash, power moves, and shady stuff. He's claiming possible messed up rituals, humiliation, and getting shortchanged over 50 grand for his work on the love record that dropped on September 15, 2023. Dang. Diddy can't seem to catch a break from these legal storms. The new allegations against Sean Diddy Combs, a music producer, is accusing hip-hop mogul of sexually assaulting him and forcing him to have sex with prostitutes. But a lawyer for Combs called the events described in the lawsuit pure fiction. This is now one of several sexual assault lawsuits filed against Combs in recent months, including a lawsuit from the R&B singer Cassie that was settled last year. In the year and change that Jones was teaming up with Combs on the Love album, or all over the place, things apparently got pretty wild. He got introduced to some of Diddy's famous buddies, but not all the encounters were sunshine and rainbows. One time, he crossed paths with Cuba Gooding Jr., who's no stranger to misconduct accusations. Jones claims the Oscar winner went all handsy, touching, groping and fondling his legs, thighs, back and shoulders. When asked about these serious allegations and the whole essay claim against Combs, attorney Sean Holly didn't hold back, saying Lil Rod is just a liar out for a fat payday with his $30 million lawsuit. The 70-page lawsuit dropped a lot of names, including someone from Lou Taylor's camp. The lawsuit read, Upon information and belief, defendants Lucian Charles GRA, in his capacity as CEO of UMG, authorized Motown Records and Universal Music Group to provide financial resources to defendants Sean Combs and Love Records through wire transfers to defendants Sean Combs and Love Records accountant Robin Green Hill. Upon information and belief, Robin Green Hill ensured the wiring funds transfer or cash payments to workers completed. Who's Robin Green Hill, you ask? Well, not only does she work at TriStar, but she's also been Taylor's associate for a while. Robin was allegedly responsible for surveilling Britney around the clock during her conservatorship. And this person right here, who is the CEO of TriStar Sports and Entertainment, and this is her executive, whatever person, Robin Green Hill. Trust me, I'm going to get to the connection here in just a sec. And here's the kicker. Lou has also been allegedly paying off Diddy's victims using a church slush fund. Apparently, they're paying off Diddy victims from that slush fund. Bieber might be funding that for them right now. That's so interesting uh, because uh, according to you guys, um, Kim Kardashian unfollowed Diddy like literally 24 hours before this raid. Okay. Also broke up with Odo Beckham Jr. Uh, like hours, you know, the day of this raid, but we know Lou Taylor's connection to Kim Kardashian. In any case, it seems anyone who speaks out against Diddy is facing serious consequences. For starters, Jaguar Wright recently had a run-in with the cops. He was stalking okay, okay. like he did last year at Southside on Lamar when we were interviewing Legina Gold for revealing Legina Gold. Y'all don't remember that night at shooting when I showed you how he was showing the Google map area of where we were. Yes. And I do we remember. told Squidward, police is right across the street. Bring it if you want it. They're right there. So he already knew where to look because he's been looking since last year. Yes. Stock much. I, I don't know. So so Jack, that we were, morning, I literally had handcuffs put on me. Wait, that morning while we were at the front desk showing the 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 attendant 
that he was stalking us and the hotel live online. The question, did you go to the pool that morning? Which morning? The morning of. No. Yes. We okay, didn't. Yeah, and that's the question. Because people no, want to say, the oh, she, before. people say, when oh, she's we back at, live. we were live the day before. The day before. Right. So I don't want people to think that she was at the pool again. No. Yes. Okay. They tried to get me arrested in the pool, not yeah. this time. Right. Front desk. <laughs> Front desk this time. So did you know what was coming down? Did you see anything that looked weird or out of place um, as it was happening? Or you just. I know the analytics. I know how they work. I know they're not intelligent. I know they're not creative. I know they're looking to recreate a moment that they incepted onto YouTube for their negative campaign against me. Well, it seems like no one is safe. The secrets Diddy has been hiding for years are coming to light, but it's costing people. Even those who aren't involved are suffering the consequences. Anyway, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.